welcome back to ESPR Boxing's YouTube channel. Delighted to be joined by lightweight contender Mark Chamberlain, head of his big fight against Joshua Wahab on the 18th of May. Of course, on the undercard of Tyson Fury versus Alexander Usyk. Mark, good to join. Good, to, good to be joined by you today. Really appreciate your time. Um, not too far away from from fight night now, and it's not been not been long since your last fight against Gavin Gwynn. How are things? Yeah, yeah, all good. Um, obviously, pleased to be part of another huge event in such short space of time. Um, haven't really come out of camp from the last one, to be honest. Um, I had a holiday booked, but it wasn't much of a holiday as such because I knew that, well, I didn't know. I had a phone call like three days before. Um, and that sort of knocked the holiday on the head for me. Obviously, we went and enjoyed what I could but I was training every day out there. So, yeah, like I say, pleased to be involved in these big events. Um, this one come around a bit sooner than expected, but never mind. Yeah, no, of, of course. Um, touching on, on the last fight against against Gavin Gwynn, um, did you expect to do what you did there? You kind of you stopped him in the first half of the fight. Gavin Gwynn's a very tough man. He's been in a role in the last couple of years. Did you Did you believe that you were going to do what you did? Yeah, sorry. I just need to change rooms. The dog's bloody making noise. No worries. Um, yes. Um, I sort of knew that Gwyn's a tough man. Um, obviously, we didn't overlook him. Um, we train hard for every fight. Uh, but I just knew deep down that I would be too good and too strong for him. Um, obviously, his attributes, like, he comes on strong in the second half of the fight. Second half of the fight but that just wasn't good enough on the night. And I knew that if I got him early, then it it would he, he wouldn't be able to do what he does to everyone else, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Um it was a bit of a, a freak accident, as if you want to say. Obviously, we we're both in there to punch each other's heads in and there'd be a winner. But for what happened was just unfortunate so early on. Um, but yeah, no, I, I take my hat off to him. He obviously is a true champion. He, he's won a good few titles along the way. But like I said, coming up to it, I'm, I feel like I was younger and hungrier and wanted it more. Um, and and now's my time, sort of thing. Yeah, no, fantastic. Um, well, yeah, the big victory and, and on to the next one. Um, Joshua Wahab. Um, he's fought in the UK before against Liam Dillon. Um, I'm not sure how much you look into your opponents, Mark. Um, is there much you know about him? Did you watch the fight against Liam Dillon? Have you, have you, did you, did you know much about this guy? No, do you know what? When I got the phone call uh, about who, who I was fighting, I've never even heard of him. Um, obviously, I had a quick look and see that um, Liam Dillon had fought him. Um, obviously, can't go off for that because there's a bit of a, bit of a story to that fight. Um, but yeah, we know he's another tough man and we all know you wouldn't be in Saudi in an easy fight. Um, and I believe that this this sort of fight and these type of fighters with these records is what I'm up against now. So it's, it's another hurdle that um, I've got to get past, if, if you want to say that. Yeah, no, of course. And in terms of, you mentioned kind of getting past this hurdle. Um all being all being well on May eighteenth, what position, what position does that does that put you in? Obviously, you are kind of ranked um, in the top fifteen with some of the some with with, with the governing bodies at a world level now. Um, what what position are you in? Come come May the eighteenth, all being well. Uh, so we come through on May the eighteenth. Um, there's there's talks of a big one in, uh, September. So okay. yeah. Got to be victorious on the night. Um, not looking past him, obviously, because he's a tough man. Got a good record, says it all. But yeah, no, um, puts me in in a good position and for a big fight that we're aiming to get for for September, hopefully. So yeah, okay. fingers crossed. Um, just a couple more, Mark. I know you are uh, um, not not got bundles of time, but one name I just wanted to discuss with you, someone who's Queensbury fighter, obviously fought last Friday. Um. Sam Noakes, now the European, British and Commonwealth champion. Um, is that a name that appeals to you to fight in the next few months or are you just kind of 
more focused on improving your your world ranking where where, where is that fight at in your opinion um i don't really know uh be honest with you it, it doesn't really come to my head anymore as such because like we're clearly on different paths if you know what i mean yeah um uh, yeah i mean i I take my hat off to him for like being able to fight for them type of titles with the level of opponents he's fought. Like, yeah, we, we, we would all love that. Um, deep down, we know that I should be the European champion now. I don't know how you can say you, you beat a European champion or do you know what I mean? Like it, it was vacant. Mendy, He's had his time, do you know what I mean? He fought a washed up Mendy. He he probably wanted a another payday. Um but yeah, I mean it is what it is, isn't it? If that fight happens, great. If it don't, it don't matter. Like we're we're going like that now. So yeah. It, yeah. it's an easy fight. It's obviously we're in in the same stable, but yeah, it's just is what it is, isn't it, I guess. Yeah, of course. Um just c- c- finally finally wanted to ask Mark, what's I think the the story is with you that you've been basically selected by Turkey Al Sheikh um to fight on these big Saudi cards. He clearly likes what he's seen of you and you've gone out to Saudi and performed. Um he's kind of be he's seen as the most influential man in 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 boxing now. He's kind of obviously about to make this massive fight in Los Angeles with the press conference being today, um, potentially having a big event in London in September. What's it like? I don't know how much you've kind of really spoken to him in person, but what's it like being kind of selected by 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 by, by this man and then just kind of having those extra eyes on you? It's great. Obviously, I can't thank him enough for doing what they're doing and believing in me. And still to this day, I haven't asked him what caught his eye from me. So that will be a question I will be asking him when I see him in uh, Saudi um, but yeah, I've just got to keep doing what I'm doing because obviously he likes what he's seen. Um, main thing was we performed out there first time around. If we perform out there again, then um, I'm sure the, the big one in uh, September should come on. Fantastic. Um, final question, Mark. Um, I've got to ask you. Some people are going for Fury. Some people are going through sick. Where's three weeks out is where we're, when we're talking now. Where's your head at for that main event? Have you have you got a prediction for what you think is going to happen? Yeah, I'm picking uh, Fury to win. I don't know how. I'm just backing Fury to win. Um, I truly believe a good big and beats a good little one. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm with Fury the whole way on this one. Okay, well, we'll see. Mark Shamelin, thank you very much for your time and all the best for May 18th. No worries. Thank you.